This is Subramaniam Gantasala. Welcome to part 2 of System Error Coding Interview Question Series. In this video, we are going to implement a function, some operations on arrays. So the problem statement is like this. Implement a system error function that takes an array of integers and determines the first and second largest element in the array. So the problem at the hand is we have a system error array as an input. Now we have to implement a function which takes that input and prints the or returns the first largest and second largest element in that array. So basically this should be solved without using any max or min functions or any inbuilt functions available in system log for arrays. So now let's define our function. So the function should accept an array as an input. Of course, it's array of integers and then it has to find the first largest and second largest elements in the array. And also finally, it has to return these numbers as output arguments. Now let's go to EDI playground and implement this function. So now we are in EDI playground. Let's implement this function module TB and module. So first let's implement the function and then later we can use the function to return the first and second largest elements of the array. So function say find first, second. So we need to give it an array as an input. So let me give as a pass by reference an array of integers. And then it will have two outputs, first largest and second largest elements, both are integers. So output in This function should be automatic since we have a ref argument. And we are using output arguments, so it's not actually returning anything. So it can be a void function. Let's take two local variables. first largest and second largest so now we can assign the first largest uh, element with first element of array else to so array of zero so now we can use a for loop to pass through the array and find the largest element. So we are starting from array elements with index i equal to 1. So if array of i is greater than let's say first underscore l which is our zeroth element then we have to assign the first largest should be array of i Then end. So this way we can find the first largest element of the array. But now we also need to find the second largest. How do we find that? So whenever we are looping through the array, so whenever we see the ith element of array is greater than first largest, then we assign the first largest element to the second largest. And then the first largest element should be the array of i and what if the array of i is not greater than first largest element then we will have an else condition so if array 
of i is greater than second largest and array of i is less than first largest so the ith element of the array is in between second largest and first largest then the second largest should be ith element so second underscore l equals to array of i so this is end of our for loop now let's assign our outputs first underscore largest equal to first underscore l second underscore largest equal to second underscore l so now let's test this function let's create an array of let's say 1 2 3 10 11 and then let's create two variables first largest and second largest now let's start implementing this function so initial begin end now we are calling this function find underscore first underscore second let's name it as second largest underscore large largest and then input is our arr there are two outputs one is first largest and second largest now let's print these values dollar display let's print all the values input is our array which is let's say percentage p and then we have two outputs first underscore largest equal to zero d which is first underscore largest and then let's display second largest Let's save this. Now let's give it a run. Let's save this. So now let's run and see what it prints. So as you can see, it prints input array is 1, 2, 3, 10, 11. And first largest is 11 and second largest is 10. So this is how you can implement a function which finds the first and second largest elements of an array in system very log. Thank you.